Hey everybody, welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, we are doing a prayer journal prompt writing video every day in the month of February. I've created a playlist. It's in the description box below if you would like to get caught up. Today we're going to do a daily devotion and we're going to use scripture. We're going to use Ephesians 4 and 32 as well as Matthew 6, 14. So just quickly wanted to show you that you can get the prayer journal here on Amazon that we were using here for the month of February. And you can also pick it up on stayingkingdomminded.com if you would like to have the PDF printable. And then of course, I'm super excited to reveal to you guys what March's journal looks like. It has some added extras. The layout is different. It's a little bit more user-friendly. I love both journals, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's scripture. So first, I just wanna share with you the writing prompt for today talks about forgiveness. And oftentimes when we think about forgiveness, we think about forgiving other people. And when I wrote this prayer prompt, I really honestly did come at this from a perspective of forgiving others. But the Lord laid it on my heart to talk about forgiving myself or forgiving yourself. So Ephesians 4 and 32 says, And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. And then I want to read to you Matthew 6, 14 and 15, actually. It says, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So as you go ahead and grab out your prayer journal and all your crafting supplies and we jump in, I just want and really hope that you guys will understand the importance of forgiving yourself. Forgiving others is vitally important and forgiving yourself is equally important. If it wasn't important, I don't believe that the Lord would have placed so much scripture on forgiveness in the word of God. So whether you're looking to science when you talk about forgiveness or you're looking to the Savior, both of them have similar information. I found it very beneficial, this article here on Hopkins Medicine. It says that studies have found that the act of forgiveness can reap huge rewards for your health, lowering the risk of heart attack, improving cholesterol levels and sleep, and reducing pain, blood pressure, levels of anxiety, depression, and stress. And research points to increase in the forgiveness health connection as you age. So as we continue to age, forgiveness even becomes more important according to science. I also found it very interesting that chronic anger puts you into a fight or flight mode, which results in numerous changes in your heart rate, blood pressure, and immune response. Those things can increase the risk of depression, heart disease, diabetes, among other conditions. And science continues here in this article to say that forgiveness, however, calms stress levels, leading to improved health. So again, if you're looking to science, we find that forgiveness is vitally important. And if we're looking to what the Savior says about forgiveness, if you forgive other people, God will forgive you, right? That's what Matthew 6 and 14 says. And Ephesians says that we need to be tenderhearted, forgiving one another. So my focus tonight, if I was showing you my hands, you would see me writing in my prayer journal, hashtag God, teach me to forget. I want you to walk away from this daily writing prompt, this daily devotion using scripture to really reflect on the things that you might be harboring either against yourself or to other people. Comment below and let me know, did God point you more towards forgiving yourself or forgiving someone else? It can be very hard to talk about forgiveness because if we have to forgive someone or ourself of a situation, then what that says is that we have been hurt. And the bottom line is, my friends, we all suffer hurt and we all suffer heartache. But as you're grabbing your journal, as you're writing and pouring out your thoughts that God's laying on your heart, I implore you and encourage you to reflect on those things because if you never take the time to think about those hurts, to think about how they impacted you, to think about how maybe you yourself have let your own self down or the fact that you feel as though you've let someone else down or maybe even God it can be such a struggle to learn how to let go. But the number one step in learning how to let go and to forgive is to bring it to the forefront of your mind, to pray about it, to ask 
ask God to show you how to completely forgive yourself or this other person, go to scripture, write out Matthew 6, 14, write out Ephesians 4 and 32 and the many other Bible verses where God is talking to us about forgiveness and know that if we forgive ourselves and we forgive others, Christ is going to forgive us and has forgiven us of all of our shortcomings. I pray that today's video has encouraged you, has blessed you, and that you would allow the Lord to speak straight to your heart on the subject of forgiveness. It's not an easy one, but it's one that we all must come to terms with those hurts and we all must push past those situations in our life where we have been hurt or hurt other people. Thank you so much for watching tonight's daily devotion using scripture. I pray Matthew 6, 14 and Ephesians 4, 32 will be scriptures that you will reference moving forward and that you will learn to truly forgive like Jesus. Thanks so much for watching. Stay kingdom-minded in all you do and take a moment to comment below and let me know which scripture did you lean more towards, Matthew 6, 14? Ephesians 4.32. What came to your mind as we talked tonight about forgiveness? Okay, thanks so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow night at 9.30.